Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to map our array data onto objects in our games. Specifically, we're going to map the data from our array onto some text labels. So here I have a wall, a top player's wall, and it's inside my workspace, top player's wall. I have added a surface GUI to that wall. And inside the surface GUI, I have a bunch of text labels. On the left hand side here, I have P1 through P5 to store, to display the player's names. And I have PT1 through PT5 on the right hand side to display the player's scores. Uh, at the top here, I have a sign that says top players. All right, so that's my wall with the text labels. And now let's go to our service script service and see how we can display the data onto that wall. So in my service script service, I have a script. I call it load top players. And I have inserted the following test data. Basically, this is a two dimensional array table. And I call it table sort function to sort that table in descending order according to the player's scores. So to load the text labels, we're just going to go down here and we're going to declare a local variable, local. Let's call it surface and we'll set it equals to our game dot workspace dot top players wall dot surface GUI. So basically surface is going to represent our surface GUI over here. Let me see if I can find it. So this is my wall and there's a surface GUI. It's going to represent the surface GUI. All right. And now we're just going to say surface dot P1. So I'm just going to look this this first text label here dot P1 dot text I'll set that equals to my data table the element one one which is going to be the first element in my sorted data table next we're going to do surface dot pt1 so this is going to be the player score dot text and we'll set that equals to data element one two. So that's how we load the player's name and score for, for the first player. And if you want to load it for the next uh, four players, you just got to repeat this process four more times. So we're going to come down here. And we're going to do the same for P2 and PT2. And over here, we're going to change it to the second row of the data table and so on. So we just need to do this three more times, which I'm not going to do. But if we press play here, we can see our text labels being loaded. So it's just going to be the first two rows. And there you see it the first row and the second row. Now, instead of doing this, and in case you have like uh, 50 text labels to load, it's going to take a long time and, and a lot of work to do. So instead of doing this, I'm going to show you a better way to map your array data onto the text labels. So here um, I have my surface GUI and I'm going to use a for loop. I'm going to say for I comma entry in I pairs and my data table is data table do for each iteration I'm going to declare two local variables so I'm going to declare local P and I'll set it equals to my surface 
and I'm gonna do find first child P so I'm basically I want to build P1 P2 P3 so I'm concatenating P with the uh, index I I'm gonna do the same for the points I'm just gonna call it PT for the points and this one we're gonna concatenate PT with the index I now that's done we just have to say P dot text and we're gonna set that equals to entry oops that's not the one I want I want entry The first element of entry is going to be the name of the player. The next one is going to be for the points. So we have pt.text set it equals to entry. The second element of entry is the points. All right, and since we only have five text labels, so we only need to do this five times. So let's check if i is equal equals to five then we're just gonna break out of this for loop so now let's play and take a look and there it is all the top players the top five top players have been loaded So that's how you map your array elements to your objects in the game. And we'll see you next time in the next tutorial.